Hi, this is Jasmine Brooks. You might know me as Lyrical Moon Raven on YouTube. And I am here to give you guys just a little hint of what you can expect in my newest book, Whispers of the Raven, which will be coming out early 2022. I hope you guys enjoy. And now for the snippet. Morning broke bright and warm, and Aislinn woke with a start. She had slightly overslept, and Lyra was there to let her know it, too. It wasn't so much she had a schedule to keep, more than the fact that every moment she did nothing, the girl got further and further ahead. She was already so close, but something wasn't right. She could feel it. The aura in the air felt off. Even the breeze that hit her face and hair upon standing remained silent. Then it happened. A high-pitched scream from further ahead. Shinoa's ears went back out of annoyance and defense. Aislinn grabbed up her blanket and stuffed it quickly into her pack as her eyes darted to make sure she hadn't forgotten anything. The fire had long smothered itself out and left only cool ash in its wake. Another sharp cry pierced the air, and it definitely wasn't from any animal. Lyra flew up to her usual shoulder and hooted softly as, it, as if to confirm there was indeed trouble stirring. An even louder screech from above confirmed Aya had already been ahead of the rest. Quickly, Aislinn swooped below the branches of her makeshift camp and was greeted by the blaring sun. Her attention turned to listening, but she heard nothing. This concerned her more than not. Whoever found themselves in trouble perhaps was on the losing side or not awake, and she feared for the safety of her charge. A commotion of shadows caught her attention in the distance, and she rapidly sprinted off into the trees to flank the situation and see what had horribly gone wrong. She hastily found the open grove, it was neither bear nor wolf, as she had initially suspected. It was much worse, worse than she could have ever imagined. In the middle of all the chaos was the thing she sought after, the halfling child, her face filled with terror. 